it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how the college football season unfolds. I think there's more parity than ever. There's more oh, par man. there's more parity than ever. Any, I mean, yeah, we're looking at Florida. Every, you know, Florida's the sexy pick right now. But really, after you get, if, after you throw that sexy pick in Florida away, which a lot of people are doing, now you got a bunch of teams right there in that second to tenth spot. That's going to be pretty doggone good. I, I agree, and like I said, I mean, everybody and their grandma is picking Georgia to go eight and four. And I'm telling you, anybody who will listen, Georgia is going to win at least 10 games. I feel that they're going to win a national title, but and obviously that's lofty expectations. But I'm telling you now, if the over-under is 8-4, and four, take the over. Call Vinny, call whoever you need to call. Call go, Tony Fat Tony. <laughs> call, call, go online because if, they, if, if, the over, if Vegas has set the over and under at 8-4, and four, and I don't know what, what it is, but that's what I'm seeing everybody picking – I'm telling you now, take the over. They're going to be so it's it's I think they're going to be incredible just because of how good they're going to be on the offensive and defensive line. I just I can't I cannot tell you how how I've been just watching and, and reading and looking at all the teams coming back. And Georgia may have the best offensive and best defensive line in the country. I think the only team that may have a better D line overall might be Florida. But I don't think their their offensive line overall will be as good because they they may have the, the their starters. But I think they're replacing a couple guys, and they don't have the depth that Georgia had because they had the injuries that they had last year. So I, I'm just I'm telling anybody that to listen that these Bulldogs are going to surprise a lot of people. I, I and I agree with you definitely. I think we're all kind of on the same page, you know, thinking that Georgia has a chance to step up and do something big. But I want to throw something out there that we haven't talked about and, and not many people are actually looking at. But Georgia is a six-point underdog against OK State. And what happens if we go out to Stillwater and, and Joe Cox doesn't step up and succeed? If our defense is mm. still as bad as it was last year, we could give up 45 points and, and lose the game 45-20 and come home to face South Carolina, which we have never played well. We never That's play them point. well. Yeah, even the games that, that we win, it's by a field goal. Or, you know, last year, 7-10. to 10. What if we come home and, and by week two, we're 0-2, oh, and the season is, you know, in the most part, over? Right. How does the Bulldog Nation react to that? And that's why I'm nervous about Georgia, simply because of that first game on the road against Oklahoma State. That's not going to be – they can start – like you said, they can start out the season 0-2. You know, it, it could be very easy for that to happen to them, and, and, and it'll, be tough, it'll be a tough road from the, you know, from the, for the rest of the season. But I like Georgia, but I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the running game. Uh, I know the I know the offensive and defensive line will be up to par, but the running game and the quarterback situation is still a little suspect to me. I know Joe Cox, he's ready to step up and take the reins, but I'm still a little bit worried about the Bulldogs in those regards.